when you don't have a proper stand or tripod and uh, I currently use my phone to vlog but they say you do with what you have so hi how are you guys doing it's a Saturday today I'm um, just on my way to work although I'm quite late I'm um, supposed to be there by 8 and it's currently to rest because I've been you know up and down the entire week but like I said you make do you make do with um, what you have so I don't know if I should um, use this chance to you know just tell you what's been happening um, the past months like back when I went silent for I think it was almost a month and a half yeah because uh, I think I last posted a video in Feb before I posted another one in uh, it must have been April I think April when I came back yeah but uh, life uh, kind of got in the way because in Feb uh, if you go back to my uh, past videos I think I'll, I'll I'll link it up where I talked about experiencing some pains in my stomach and they were quite different from you know the normal cramps or the pain I was actually used to so anyway um, I think it was it could have been three three or yeah I think it's three as a go uh, we found out that I had fibroids Yes, and uh, unfortunately for me, there were quite many and they were quite big as well. And um, you know, they say fibroids grow in, 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 in different parts of the uterus. So there are those they call intrauterine. Um, basically, um, they could grow in the uterus itself or they could grow outside the uterus or they could grow within the muscle of the uterus and usually the direction they are growing into also matters because if they are growing towards the uterus especially um, if they are in the muscle and they are growing towards the uterus so basically they want to enter the uterus those usually cause uh, problems but if they are on the outside and you know they show no sign of trying to enter then usually those are not as um, scary or you know as bad and then there are those that are directly within the uterus now those ones are completely you know bad news they have to be taken out but like I said it also depends on the size you know they could be small so of course if they're small then they're harmless but if they are big then that's when you have to seek op options the good thing is they're not cancerous they're just tumors that keep growing um, but at the same time they've caused a lot of issues especially for us women of reproductive age because um, you know they affect pregnancies uh, I don't know they're just basically not a good thing anyway so in Feb um, we celebrated uh, one year of marriage and that was uh, Feb 11th and like I said the pains had been prior to this I think like a week earlier or something so on the 12th I decided to find out what's up so my periods hadn't come for a while I was 
you know getting all this pain and stuff so a friend of mine a very good friend of mine um told me to actually just take a pregnancy test just you know to be sure so on 12th i take a pregnancy test and it came out positive <laughs> yeah so on uh, february 12th we found out that we were expecting now that is when the real 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 challenges began um i find out i'm pregnant and then um i was already taking um iron tablets because they say um you know when you're expecting you know we take folic because it helps i think with iron with blood and the like so the, the tablets I was, I was on were actually for both iron and blood because um, when I went for a checkup it was also discovered that I was slightly anemic and that is something that fibroids do they suck blood they tend to you know they feed on blood they basically feed on every nutrient you have because they 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 take on a perception of you know they are maybe a growth they are a growth but they suck on the nutrients that ideally if you were pregnant the fetus would be um taking up all those nutrients so i was already put on um folic tablets even before i found out i was pregnant because um i needed blood i needed iron so when i found out um that i was expecting you know i just had to continue with them so yeah i tell my parents of course um you know you know this news by the way um of me expecting was 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 i think taken with two kinds of reactions number one the excitement that oh my god <laughs> we're expecting we're going to get a baby um, but at the same time, we had that fear of the fibroids because, like I explained, mine were big. They were really, really big. Um, my last scan showed that they were almost the size of um, a four-week-old pregnancy. So, you know, my parents were just very concerned with uh, how do we get through this with this other issue anyway so I fell sick um, I started getting very strong inexplicable abdominal pains I was just I think a month I must have been one month pregnant I think I was yeah I, the fetus was four weeks fibroids was um no the fetus yeah the fetus was was one month yeah one month and then the fibroids were as big as um a four month old pregnancy so my tummy grew like my stomach became very big it was noticeable that i was pregnant and at the same time the fetus was quite small so I didn't know how to explain to people that I'm not even far along. This is just fibroids manifesting. I'm actually just one month pregnant, which ideally shouldn't be showing. You guys, it, it wasn't easy. So anyway, um, I, that month, um, I did fall sick. The pain, as I explained, was so bad. When I went to hospital, I was... Um, because the gynecologist said I had a very high risk pregnancy so I was at high risk of a miscarriage I was at high risk of the fact that if I did um, go through my second my first and uh, second try we, we were not sure there were possibilities of um, 
having a baby that comes out before they are due date, basically at seven months. So I was put on strict bed rest, and this is bed rest where you're not supposed to do anything, you're just supposed to rest. So lie in bed and eat and go back to bed and rest. So, you know, no hard labor, no housework, no washing, none of that stuff. That's what I was told to do. And here I am, I have a job, I have to go to work, so, so I'm, I'm trying to balance that too. And yet I'm also in pain. It, it just... Those two months were... Actually it's even, I think, three. Because all this started in Feb. They were just the hardest. It, it, it was the hardest period for, for me, for my family. It was just very hard. Anyway, so I was in and out of hospital. And, um, you know, my workplace was able to be a bit flexible because um, our first plan was I would work three days a week and then the rest of the days I'm off so that was working then I started bleeding I'm pregnant and I'm bleeding and that is not a good sign at all if you've been pregnant if if you if I don't know if you've had um, a relative a friend they will tell you that when you're pregnant and you bleed, it is not a good sign. So I bled and I had to be rushed back to hospital. And yeah, I was then put on now an entire, like complete, complete, complete bed rest. So that just meant um, I had to stop working we had to find ways of, um, uh, you know, me trying to work from home, uh, which also wasn't easy. Mm. So I basically came up with another plan and started working half day. So I would go to work and um, leave at about midday or one and head home. And my dad would come and pick me up from office. So my husband would drive us to work. Um, then my dad would uh, pick me up later in the afternoon because um, my, okay, my husband Bernard had to, had to go to work. So that went on, um, I think, for for like two weeks. Um, of course, then that's when we're preparing for. So this went on for March. Um, yeah, because Easter was at the beginning of April. Yeah, so this went on, you know, end of March. So then we prepare for. We then prepare for Easter and that's, uh, <laughs> it's even funny telling this story because I, I don't know if, um, if I want to bring out to you guys what I really want to say, but Easter comes around, we celebrate Easter. Easter Monday comes around and then I'm I'm bleeding again so I bled on Easter Monday it wasn't as heavy as my previous bleeding but I bled um, so I called my older brother who is a doctor and I explained to him what was happening so it was agreed that the next day I had to um, check into hospital to see that everything was okay. So the next day we go to hospital. 
U.S. Khan. And unfortunately, there was no heartbeat. So, um, where the video is not clear but please bear with me please please bear with me I just I felt like um, I needed to talk about this but um, I will do um, separate videos on, on these topics that I've mentioned I wish you guys a great weekend. No, this video is going to go up on a Thursday. So, let me just say bye for now and I'll see you guys another day. Bye.